Good morning, teacher. You're Hannah, right? Yes. Okay, so why I'm Hannah? Hannah? I never got that. I never, I never, I never understood why people called you Hannah. Because I don't know my grandma uh -huh. sent me uh, since I was born. Because ah, okay. Got it. Alejandra is Hannah and Alejandro is <laughs> Hannah. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe when we are kids, we can't pronounce our name very well, right? And maybe mm -hmm. they said something like, hey, what's your name? And you said something like Hannah. Because remember, when we're kids, we cannot pronounce the R letter. It's really yeah. difficult for kids. Maybe. That's a theory. Anyway, are you in Mexico right now or are you in Montreal? Where are you right now? Right now in Montreal. All right. And right the now, weather? It is, um, uh -huh. There is no. Yeah, a lot of snow, weather. right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Are you used to the snow now? I mean, mm, I like, but mm, no deja hacer muchas cosas. Yeah, I, I, I understand. I understand. It doesn't. Um, so in Montreal, you practice more your French or your English or both or or what is it i want to learn french because i don't know too much uh, uh -huh. i can to practice english because uh -huh. the most of, of people uh, speak english but yeah. every every everybody speak french so i All want right. to uh-huh okay so um are you paying for this trip for yourself? I mean, your parents, or did you get a, some sort of a scholarship? Um, uh, for my family, yes. Um, my girlfriend is here and her family. So um, I plan to live here. Uh -huh. for... All right. So it's like a very open city, right? Yes, uh -huh. very open. All right, good. Okay. Well, let me say hi to somebody else. All right. Nice to meet you, Hannah. Thank you for, for showing up. Uh, yeah. Who else is here? Uh, Silvana Garcidueñas, are you there? Hello, yes, I'm here. All right. Okay, so Silvana, this is your first class, right? Yeah, this is my first class. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you right now? Have you, did you go back to the SEA? Not yet? No, no, no yet. I'm uh -huh. in my city. I'm from Penjamo City. Okay. And I am, I am here. I'm living here because um, I have a work. Uh -huh. And yeah. I didn't want to leave it um, yet. So right. I am working and I'm going to come back to the SEA and to Guanajuato. Until until March, I think. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So, well, let me tell you something that last night I went out to have some dinner. Last night was uh, Taco Thursday. And <laughs> I went out uh, to, to the city. I am in Guanajuato City. And I saw more students than usual. And I, well, I'm just uh, sharing that I was feeling very happy to see more students around the city and they were i don't know they were with friends they were carrying pizza they were carrying snacks so it seems to me that they were going to get together at somebody else's house so the city has a different vibe now with students it feels more alive and and i that made me feel happy that made me that made me feel or have the sensation that things are going back to normal little by little so anyway, after saying uh, good morning to all of you, I see that today we have 14 people. That's, that's right, that's a good number. Uh, let's, let's start by talking about cryptocurrencies because remember that this week, this is something that we are talking about. Uh, just to begin with, um, I just posted a question on the chat. What are cryptocurrencies? Have you, ever, have you heard like anything about that? Do you invest in cryptocurrencies? What is your experience with cryptocurrencies? Uh, is there a um, uh, Jesus Lopez? Are you there? 
Yes, teacher. Yeah. Tell us everything that you know about cryptocurrencies, please. Uh, Nothing. Uh, a lot. Do you invest in cryptocurrencies? What is it? Well, you, mm, yes. La verdad, no, no hablo muy bien el inglés. <laughs> no. Okay, how many levels of English do you have? Mm. How many levels of English do you have? Why are you taking this class? Ay, caray. Es que no, no lo hablo ni lo entiendo muy bien, la verdad. No sé. Why are you taking this class if you don't speak English? Uh, uh. Es que me, me trabo, no sé, como que me, no. All right, let's, let's skip to somebody else. I'll talk to you later, Jesus. All right, David Alberto, how are you this morning? I'm good, teacher. All, all right, so tell us about your experience with cryptocurrencies, uh, David Alberto. All right, okay. Uh, Cesar de la Cruz, how are you this morning? Tell us about your experience with cryptocurrencies, please. Hi, teacher, I am fine, and you? Uh, I barely can hear you. Could you please speak up? Can you hear me? Yeah, your volume is very low, super low. Oh, Could you okay. please turn your mic off, like uh, the volume up, please? You can give me a uh, one minute and, and all right. Let me try with somebody else. Thank you, Cesar. Humberto Martinez, how are you? Hello, teacher. Um, I don't have any, uh, experience. All right, you don't have experience. Uh, no, is, all right. Is there anyone in the room who knows a little bit about cryptocurrencies? I know different uh, currencies, cryptocurrencies, yeah, but uh, I, I don't use in this moment. Yeah, okay. Uh, Let's uh, uh -huh. Tell me. I know, for example, um, Bitcoin and Dogecoin, yes. uh, et cetera. That's but right. I don't use. That's right. So basically, Bitcoin is the most popular. And I think that everybody here in this room today, um, ah, Cesar is, um, is, wants to participate. Cesar de la Cruz, tell us, please, help us out. Uh, hi, teacher. Can you yeah. hear me? Yeah, okay. sure. Very well. Uh, now I, I start in, sorry for my English, in I invite and some groups of people send send alerts send uh, top uh, tips uh -huh. for the price of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and different mm -hmm. different bitcoins. And yeah. as the the experience, I have a approach and the this this new new coins um sorry <laughs> all right sorry. yeah i i got a, i got a general idea don't worry so david are you investing right now in cryptocurrencies for the moment no no because right. my my cash is very limited very, uh, yes mm -hmm. but i think in the future I I I try best. It. All right, yeah. I by the end of this class, I will tell you where and how to invest your money in cryptocurrencies. However, um, cryptocurrencies. Um, let me ask you another question. When you think of the word crypto, 
what comes to what comes to your mind when you think of the word crypto what comes to your mind you can answer on the chat please okay when you think of the word crypto what comes to your mind Any volunteers? Any answers? Me, teacher. Yes, come on, Rebecca. Um, when I think in, in that word, I think in something digital. Uh, yeah. Cryptocurrency is a digital payment system uh -huh. you know, uh, that doesn't rely on banks to verify transactions. Okay, that's awesome. That's a great definition. So the banks or a central bank it's not in charge of the uh, cryptocurrencies. So let me just give you a general idea that uh, David mentioned. He, he talked about the, no, it wasn't David, it was uh, Cesar. He mentioned that uh, Bitcoin is the most popular one and it's the one that started this whole boom. Um, and the cryptocurrencies um, are just a, crazy thing in people's minds right now. Why? Because they are worth a lot of money. Uh, if you bought one Bitcoin back in 2011, uh, well, it was a, a, a new currency with not a lot of value. But today, if you search on Google, how much is one Bitcoin in Mexican pesos? I asked you this question last week, I remember, and I remember you told me that it was uh, 920,000 uh, Mexican pesos, more or less. And today, uh, do you know how much is one Bitcoin today? How much is one Bitcoin? Please Google that. Is one Bitcoin in Mexican pesos? 800. Okay. It seven, went down. Uh -huh. 17. Yeah. So last last week, it was 900,000. So this time it's 800. So as you can see, it fluctuates very, very, I mean, it fluctuates a lot. You know, today you can have a lot of money, but in the next, uh, I don't know, 30 minutes, your money can disappear or can grow. So this money is based on um, a speculation, basically. And what is a speculation is that the more people are interested in acquiring this asset, you know, the more value is going to have, you know, and the less people show interest in this uh, asset, you know, the less value is going to have. So it's interesting because we as humans or as, as members of a society, we decide how much value we give to something. In this case, it's a, a cryptocurrency. Crypto comes from the word encrypted and what is encrypted or encryption. This word com comes from the Greek, from the Greek uh, root. And what this means is that the information is uh, secure, is safe. And there are a lot of differences between traditional money and uh, digital money, these digital assets. The very first uh, and obvious uh, difference is that uh, the traditional money that we know, it's something tangible, something that we can touch, something that we can have in our pockets. And, and, and obviously digital doesn't exist. It just exists in our cell phones, in our wallets. I mean, the wallets in, in this case are our cell phones. And if you want to buy, if you want to invest, um, uh, money in cryptocurrencies. There is one company in Mexico that is well established and, and the name, let me type it for you guys. The name is Bitso, all right? On Bitso, you can buy uh, a lot of cryptocurrencies. And let me tell you something uh, that is really important. Number one, don't think that if you buy cryptocurrencies today, you're going to be like super rich and wealthy and, and you're going to be like crazy rich and going to be buying uh, Lamborghinis next week. No, 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 hold on. 
this is very risk, very risky, right? If you want to uh, invest your money on cryptocurrencies, my recommendation is to invest only 1% of your income, all right? Only 1%. Why? Well, this is because, again, it fluctuates a lot and, and you can lose a lot of money. That's why I, I recommend you to go easy on cryptocurrencies. What do you need to open your account on Bitso? It's very simple. You just need a debit card. That's, that's all you need. But again, remember, cryptocurrencies are super interesting. However, um, I recommend you to go easy on that. Just 1%, remember. Why 1%? Well, because if you lose your money, that is, that is not going to hurt you a lot, right? That, that uh, is not going to leave you in bankrupt or something like that. So please go easy with cryptocurrencies. I am investing in cryptocurrencies uh, since two, uh, two years ago or three years ago. And I, I've seen some good progress, but again, go easy, you know, do not go uh, crazy with this new idea. But now, what is it? What, um, what or how can you, um, how does it work? Well, for this, let me open uh, the lesson for today's, uh, today's week. And, and let me share the screen with you. Uh, share screen right there. Okay, so we are going to work on um, four different words. The first one is cryptocurrencies. What I want you to do is to Google the definition for this, for this um, word, cryptocurrencies. And I want you to write the definition here. Please, uh, it's a definition, not a translation to Spanish, please. All right, so because in Spanish, we know that this means crypt uh, cryptomonedas, all right. But please Google the definition in, in English of cryptocurrencies. Then also uh, Google the definition of bookkeeping, please. All right. Uh, bookkeeping, um, ledger is another word. So basically there are four words, all right? It's not a lot of vocabulary, but uh, uh, four words. The next one is ledger. Next one and the last one, probably this is the most difficult one to understand, the blockchain. The blockchain is a technology where the cryptocurrencies um, are supported. But what is it, right? How can you explain that? Well, here uh, on this link that I share with you, you're going to click on it. You're going to watch a video where they explain um, in general to give you a general idea on what cryptocurrencies are. And what you're going to write here are four differences between um, crypto and traditional money, all right? I just gave you one idea. Crypto doesn't exist physically and, um, and, and traditional money, it's something, uh, something physical. Um, there are more differences. So please write the differences that you hear on the video once you watch it, okay? So bit, uh, um, Bitcoin is just one. Cesar mentioned another one. Cesar mentioned also Ethereum, all right? He mentioned Ethereum, all right? And, you know, there are dozens and dozens of uh, cryptocurrencies. So, you know, probably the two most popular ones are uh, if, uh, the Bitcoin and the Ethereum. And then there is a third one that it's called Ripple. And again, there are dozens of uh, currencies. And to some people, these currencies, they are the future of money because you can do a lot of things with uh, cryptocurrencies. They cannot only be used as money, but they can also, these assets can be used as a vote on an election, for example. Right. Imagine that for the next election in Mexico, the or in other country, um, they would give 
one uh, crypto uh, cryptocurrency to people to vote, right? Uh, it would be very difficult to commit a, an electoral fraud. Why? Because you know that coin would be uh, attached to your name, right? So people would uh, know who vote for who. So there would be no way for people to uh, to cheat on the elections. That's just an idea, right? So uh, the only limit is the imagination. Okay. So this is going to be very interesting. You're going to learn a lot on this video and, and to learn also the differences between traditional money and, um, and, and digital currencies. And again, if you're interested, okay, my recommendation is to go easy. The next topic, 1.8 is personal finance, all right? Personal finances, um, here, what you're going to do is the first thing is, what do I know about personal finance? All right, what do I know? Do you know a lot? Do you know so-so? Uh, um, or do you almost know nothing at all, right? So here on this column, you're going to write, what do I know about the topic of personal finance? All right, then, on question number two is, what do I want to know? Okay, so you see the differences. What do I what do I know? What do I want to know? And number three, when you finish this lesson, you're going to be able to answer column number three. What did I learn? All right, so this is more like a reflection. So number three, you're going to be able to answer this uh, after you play this video game. The name of this video game, it's, it's called the payoff, which in Spanish means la recompensa. So the payoff is a video game that you can play only on your computer. And I am, I am using this video game as part of my um, PhD uh, research project. And this is what I want you to do. I want you to uh, click on this link and once you click on this, you are going to enter this code right here. And then you're going to be into one of these teams, okay? So if you have completed only three levels of English, well, then you are going to be in this team, okay? Uh, for four levels, go to this team. For five levels, go to this team. For six levels, go to this team. Etc. I mean, you understand, you have the idea. So let me open uh, the payoff right now for you guys, okay? So right here, can you see this? Can you see the, the payoff, right? It's true. Yes, Hannah, can you see it? All right. Okay, good. Now here, you can see that people are already playing the game. And here, these are their scores, okay? The value here, this is, how much money they have left in their bank accounts once they complete the game. So the, let me tell you the general idea of this game, all right? With this game, it's, um, the idea is that you are a YouTuber, all right? This is the context. You are a YouTuber. So you choose one of your, um, one of your role. Um, like, there is a girl. And there is a, 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 a guy, I forgot their names right now. I think it's Alex. One is Alex and the other, the, the woman is Jess. So anyway, you choose the role and you are going to be uh, presented with several different um, situations in your life that uh, they lead you to take financial decisions. So the objective of these games is for you guys to learn to to make the best financial decisions you can make, all right? Sometimes uh, we learn things, uh, talking about finances, we learn things like uh, really the bad way. Why? Because we make mistakes, because nobody told us uh, what to do in certain situations. For example, uh, is it okay for me to pay an insurance? Is it okay for me to buy uh, this camera right now? Is it okay for me to, um, 
to, uh, um, I don't know, to go on this trip right now. So basically every decision that we make or take uh, is going to either subtract points from our bank account or add points. So the objective for this game is to end up the game with uh, money in your bank account. Obviously you get uh, fixed fictional money, you know, you know, it's not real, sorry. Uh, but the idea is that you can finish with money in your pocket, well, in your bank account. And what happens if the results are negative, right? What happens if you have like, uh, if you end up the game with uh, no money at all or very little money? Well, you can play a game, you know? You can play more than once. You can play over and over again. So the idea is for you guys to make better or take better financial decisions, all right? So it doesn't work on cell phones, okay? It only works in your computer. So please take your time because uh, it is a series of videos and I think at, le at least you need 30 minutes to play, all right? Has anyone in the room played the game yet? Has anyone played the game yet? No, teacher. No? I'm not no, yet. All right. Humberto, have you played the game yet? No, teacher, in this moment, no. No? Okay. Andrea no. Carolina, have you played the game yet? No, yet. Not yet. All right. Well, uh, the question that I have for you guys uh, is do you like playing video games? Yes, teacher, uh, I like to play FIFA. Yes, you like FIFA, huh? Okay, well, uh, this is kind of different. It's Works not a sports. Um, this is not a sports game, Hannah. However, uh, there is a version to learn personal finance by playing American football. And I can share the, li the link with you uh, later. Uh, Cesar, do you like to play video games? Yes, teacher, I have found. Uh, one simulator uh, can do a trailer. <laughs> what, what's the name again? Uh, trailer simulator. Um, oh, really? To drive a trailer? A truck? Yes, yeah, a then truck. <laughs> driving <laughs> okay, in mountains or cities, different cities. It's good to play. Which one, Humberto? Uh, it's good to uh, play video game. Uh, right. driving different mountains in the, really? in the world. Yes. Okay. Hmm, I have never heard of that, but I, you know, I'm pretty sure that it exists. Okay. So uh, anyway, here uh, there are some people with three levels of English who have already played the game. Okay. You can see other people uh, with four levels of English and some other people with four levels. So please, this weekend, take your time and play this game because I'm pretty sure that you are going to like it. I'm pretty sure that you are going to enjoy it. And remember, um, if you uh, end up the game with a little money in your account or, or very little money, uh, you can play the game again. Don't worry, you know? It's not like, oh, you end up with uh, zero pesos in your account. So that means that you fail. No, 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 no. You can play a game. And also the only thing, the only uh, favor that I would like to ask to you guys is um, here in this, uh, in this part, uh, you're going to write what do you want to invest your money today based on the game, all right? Based on the, on the, on the games, uh, on the game context. And please write it in English. And number two, uh, do not write any offensive content, all right? Do not write something that can be offensive because uh, then you're going to get in trouble, all right? And I don't want you to get in trouble. 
Um, so what else? Uh, let me go back to this part right here. So when you finish playing the game, I want you to take a screenshot of the game that you play and you're going to paste it here in this area. Then after that, I'm, I'm going to ask you a huge favor. I, this is a, a personal favor that I want to ask to you, which is go to this uh, place and I want you to answer this survey. This survey is going to help me out to complete my uh, studies in my, in my uh, research. So this is going to take you like five minutes to complete. And what I'm trying to do here is to prove that, the, that this game increases your motivation to learn, all right? That's my theory. And then finally, there are four questions, four questions that are related to you and your relationship with money. And they are not private questions, don't worry. They are more general questions. Like for instance, are you good taking or making financial decisions? Uh, do you ever talk about money uh, with your parents? Um, what do you, do you think it's a good idea to save money, et cetera? So the objective of this week's lesson is that you guys um, learn more about personal finance. Why do I like this topic so much? Well, honestly, it, the reason why it's because I feel that if you want to have a good quality of life, you have to be good in having good, per I mean, you, you need to be good in personal finance. So the, the better you have, uh, the, the, the better your personal finances are, the better your quality of life will be. Sometimes we think that investing uh, money, it's only for rich people, right? So we think like, oh, I'm going to learn about investments once I become rich or once I, uh, I, be, I have financial freedom. And you probably are going to be thinking like, hmm, when am I going to have this financial freedom? Well, my recommendation is that you start little by little. So today I am recommending to you uh, if you want to invest your money and start investing money on things like, I don't know, maybe things uh, that are not expensive, such as the Starbucks, Domino's Pizza, Kentucky Fried Chicken, um, um, uh, Pizza Hut, um, then you should try GBM, all right? GBM, it's another digital platform where you can invest your money. I just wrote it here on the chat so you can check it later. And again, if you want to learn more about personal finance, there is one last thing that I recommend you today. Uh, here on this section, the last part of unit one, which it says for you, uh, I recommend you to check this Diplomado, okay, but the Conducef here in Mexico. And, and also, I recommend you to explore a different um, a different tool to invest your money in a safe way. So remember, Bitcoin is super, super volatile. And the opposite is Sete Directo, right? Sete Directo is the most secure way to invest your money. You can invest as low as 50 pesos per week, five, zero, 50. 50 pesos a la semana. So let's say that you invest 50 pesos per week. That's what, uh, 200 pesos per month. And if you multiply this by 12 for, for a year, that's 2,400 pesos. Plus you have the interest. The interest that I are paying you right now are 5.70%, uh, which is 5%, right? So 2,400 uh, 2, pesos plus uh, 5%, well, you're going to end up the year with a nice Christmas present for yourself, okay? So the, the other one is setesdirecto.com, okay? So again, if you have questions about how to invest your money, uh, I recommend you the easy way, setesdirecto. 
Then once you become familiar, go to GBM. And then the last one that I recommend is go to Bitso, okay? But finally, I recommend you to sign up for this Diplomado en Educación Financiera. It is free, okay? It starts on uh, February, uh, the inscripciones, the, the, the signing up, it's open until March 7th. And you are going to thank me later, right? Because this is going to change your life. All right, Cesar is telling us about Richard, Binance. Can, can you send me this link? I sure. Please. Yeah, sure. Let me, uh huh. Let me copy it and paste it here. All right. Can you see it on the chat? Okay. Good. All right, guys. We have two minutes to finish today's session. Okay. Who wants to add something? Who wants to say something? Okay, Cesar, tell us. Uh, what recommender for the process? Yeah, uh, I can speak in Spanish. Tell me, tell me what process? What process is that? Uh, 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 ya que el proceso, pues es algo com complicado porque, bueno, a mí me llama mucho la atención todo esto de las criptos, las futuros, uh -huh. el SP500. Uh -huh. Pero si es un, un proceso de mucha paciencia, eh, ¿qué, ¿qué recomendaciones yeah. da para, para mantener la calma, para no...? Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically, César, my recommendation is that be patient. Uh, to be honest, um, this takes 10 years. It's 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. It's a long, a long-term process. I, I, I remember, you're not going to be rich uh, the next Friday, okay? It takes years. And it's basically a matter of investing your money. Instead of saving your money, just uh, save it, all right? Save your money under your mattress or in your PG bank is not a good idea. Why not? Because you are not making uh, any interest with your money. I mean, your money is losing value. So my recommendation is that you invest it either on CETES or uh, GBM or, um, or cryptocurrencies, but be patient, all right? It takes time and patience, all right? So that's my recommendation, Cesar, okay? It takes a lot of time and patience, okay? Any other Thanks, comments? Teacher. I read yesterday in the yeah. article that yeah. you can withdraw cryptocurrencies in the OXO? Yes, you can. Is... Hmm. I'm not pretty sure about that, but you can withdraw money, real money in your debit, your, in your debit uh, card. That's what I do, right? But not in an OXO, I have never tried that. Yes, I read that mm -hmm. yesterday. All right, guys. Today, uh, that's the end of our lesson. I hope that you learn a lot. Remember, play the game, uh, do the survey, and have a nice, uh, nice weekend. David is asking a question, so tell me, David. Yes, chair. Sorry, uh, but I just um, what do when where do you recommend it? Uh, can we see the movement of the cryptocurrencies on the stock of market? I don't think I understood your question, David. Sorry. You can mm. ask me on WhatsApp if, because uh, we're running out of, out of time here on Zoom. You can ask me on, on WhatsApp, please. Okay. Did you All right. So, sorry, everyone, but... Uh, uh,